50 years ago, America passed the 28th Amendment, virtually enslaving anyone with special abilities into government service or forcing them to live as ordinary citizens. With his team disbanded, America's foremost protector and hero for a century had been betrayed by the very institution he swore to serve. Erased from its history books, his every exploit was covered up. Now, in a place called Little Bighorn, the greatest hero America has forgotten will come out of retirement to take down the very institution he once served. Assembling a new team of superpowered individuals, wielding abilities never before witnessed. In a country that has banned its heroes, it's time to root for the criminals. Let's start a new revolution. Psychically, I'm very well endowed. I want to know what you're thinking There are some things you can't hide I want to know what you're feeling Tell me what's on your mind Hey there, this is Cooper for Telepathic Bunny Comics. Uh, sorry, we're going to have to go full icon today uh, for the time being, just so you know. I am fully dressed. Everything's okay. Uh, I'm just, uh, the internet's kind of wonky on me today. So if it starts to go in out, I'll switch the icon. So uh, so if you see that, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll, uh, I'm still here somewhere. Anyway. <laughs> uh until i figure out the configuration on this router um you know that's just the way it's going to be for a little while um i don't know I've, this is one of those things one of those things anyway so uh so far so good uh said to be coming in all right um got one guy here that's speaking mr crowder's atlas hey will what's up what's up what's up and uh let me see copy and uh Me putting this in the chat is not a open invitation that anybody's going to come on, but uh, I'm still going to use my discernment. But there's the link if anybody wants to come on and have it and uh, talk about what they think is next. Uh, it's hoping for a little bit bigger of a crowd. It looks like I've got eyes. I just don't have uh, very many people in the chat. Uh, but uh, oh, hold on. We have a woke breaker. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, man. Good to see you. Um. Anyway, so uh, I usually get on here and I usually talk about uh, things that um, I think are next. I usually try to get some pertinent topics. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not what I'm talking about today. It's what you guys are talking about. Today is the call-in show. So, so that means... Uh, you know, the world is your oyster. You know, uh, the uh, general overall topic is what do you think the next step is? What do you think the next uh, next movements are? Um, and uh, any, any, any pop culture? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm uh, traveling without a net a little bit today, so we'll, we'll see how this turns out. Um, yeah, uh-oh, yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, just some trends that you're seeing, uh, some things that you think are going to indicate uh, what uh, what is going to happen, uh, what is where we're progressing to. Um, and uh, that could be uh, bad, both bad or good things, you know. What next? What's next? Might be a bad thing. Whoa! What we got here? What's up? Hello, hello, hello. What's up, Shadow Punk? Not much, man. No, greetings, greetings, greetings. Um, do ride shotgun with me on this. Uh, what's probably gonna be disastrous? There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> disaster disaster is your middle name. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Telepathic disaster bunny. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, right. Uh, nothing really. The same independent creation, good, bag and ugly people are done with corporate crap. Yep. I'm assuming it's a P. It's supposed to be a P there. Uh, so do you think uh, do you think uh, the corporate crap is about over? Do you think uh, we're about on the other I, side of that? Good question. I think actually Personal? that it was over a long time ago, and I think that it's been propped up. And the real question would be, are they done propping it up? So I, I don't think so. Yeah, that is a good question. You know, so you don't think so? Cause, cause I, no, because it, uh, okay. you, you get, but you think you, well, you get a lot of division. People pit against each other, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's always a good thing for them. Right. They always love right. doing that to us because we go at each other. You know, you know, people, let's pick your normal D Marvel writer today. You know, I mean, that guy's he's a he's a left wing uh -huh. lunatic, right? But you know, in a normal world, yeah. he just minds his own business. Right? And because he know he knows that, that he mm -hmm. couldn't pull that shit right. and people wouldn't buy it. So that 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 that's kind of my <laughs> right. Yeah, that that's kind of oh. my take that, that's uh, it's propped up. So, well, this is William F. If he was asking earlier for uh, shows that uh, he could watch because he's tired of the algorithm chasers who uh, are all talking about the same things in the same ways uh, to each other. Um, and uh, I mentioned that I did have a show here and. Uh, <laughs> that I don't follow the algorithm, which is why my show uh, doesn't have, uh, you know, not pushing a million, uh, like, you know, Mr. Gary Neurotic. Oh, uh, he's not pushing over. He's over a million now. Uh, so. <laughs> hey, you know what you so want to do? I guess that's, uh, wanna... that's a decision that. Uh... If you want to up mm -hmm. your numbers, you know what you want to do? Is you want to get into a fight with Matt Barr. Uh, because he is excellent. Matt, at well, I like Matt, though. Yeah, but you could you could talk to. But I like you could just Make it up, just make it up, right? Make it about something frivolous that he can get pissed off about. Well, people, people because... that are. Yeah, go ahead. Well, because because <laughs> he is fun to listen to when he's mad, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, right. and if he's if he's mad at you, then he can elevate your status, mm -hmm. right? I hate to I hate to yeah, say that. But... Matt can get vicious, though. I don't want Matt mad at me. Yeah, you do, and then later well, make up. Well, Matt doesn't he, make up, though. He does. You he don't get on the. You, no, well, that's not you true. don't get back. You, you don't get off the dark side of Matt Barr. Are you kidding me? That is that is totally <laughs> not true. He has a big. He's a big heart guy. He is a big hearted guy, but right. You know, that's that, that's how you get off the list. You make it. You 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 say you're you're. Or whatever, and then uh -huh. you get into a fight with him, and right. then for about two months he's talking you down, which is fun to listen to because he's great <laughs> at doing it. And then later on you make up, you're like, dude, I, I was a total miscommunication. Right? And then everybody knows your name now. I've known Matt for a few years now, and that has <clears throat> never worked once. <laughs> even now he's talking about Joe Ball. How Joe Ball, he he has no problem with Joe Ball. You know, and they've been going at okay. each other forever. So, oh, okay, okay. He's he's and uh, there's this whole thing now with I think I don't think he's in the mm. EVS circle anymore. No, no, it, 
he uh he's definitely solidly out of that circle <laughs> all right uh so they eat each other not to say the independent sphere doesn't or have fake drama but at this point the corporation are into the rope it can't last their own rules are destroying them yeah i'll agree with that the longer esg scores are involved more money they will lose the messier and nastier the product will be period yeah i'll agree with that i agree with that um there, there is indication that uh for at least blackrock for once or, or for for one group is uh is no longer like uh propping up uh a lot of this esg uh these esg cert, uh you know uh users really yeah um because a lot of these media outlets were being propped up by blackrock and you see them shutting their doors and getting so really? yeah yeah so the Ugh. well it's 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 not like really confirmed i mean blackrock hasn't made any statements or anything but uh uh people who basically made their entire um oh yeah Yes, sir, William. Uh, the the link is up there, dude. You're welcome to come on. Absolutely. No, you cannot. You cannot come on. No, ever, we ever, can't. We ever, can't. Ever. Well, well, why not? Why not? Do you yeah. even know who William is? I have no idea. He's probably Matt Barr with a different name. <laughs> no, Matt's Matt. Matt. Matt's never uh, used an alt, as far as I know. Uh, that's not. He that's... said, "You know, he. I don't know if you. You probably didn't hear this, but he talked yeah. about how his dad would interrogate him when he was a kid." Oh, and really? it was like it was yeah, it was like out there. It was like, mm -hmm. um, okay, tell me the story for the fifth time. Uh huh. Oh, this time this doesn't make sense. Huh. Right, and he was like, right. "Wow, did his dad work for like intelligence or something?" It's like <laughs> that level of like a, a thing, mm -hmm. you know? Right, right. I was, I was, I was stunned. Yeah, that does sound a that does sound a little shady there. It's a little shady. Uh, <laughs> I'll come in. I'm an expert on everything. All right, woke breaker, welcome, man. Uh, that link's up there, dude. Love to have you. Do it. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh, welcome to the show, Mr. William F. <laughs> Add your icon to our icons. There you go, man. <laughs> yep, you there. I'm hearing something. Hey, buddy, what's going on? There, 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 go. there he is. There he is. Sorry. I, had, I had to close all the. I'm on my phone. I had to close like everything in the background. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Totally get it. Totally oh. get it. Yeah. Give me one second. I let the dog in. Who let <laughs> the dog in? Woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Um, it's funny. Yeah, he, so, I bet you he, I bet you he lives in the north. He, he might he might indeed that's a possibility um uh, you just got a cool icon with that sound wave i think that's sound wave isn't it you know transformers are pretty fucking cool yeah you know they and are. they came up with these cool names right mm -hmm. gi kind of joe where they had really kick-ass code names right. right they're fun just to say it yeah they, they definitely understood branding back then didn't they even if larry hama hates us I, I think he does. Yeah, he's pretty pretty much hates everybody. Uh, anyway, <laughs> well, do you think he hates us or he's pretending to to save his jazz? Um, well, no, I think he genuinely hates us. I mean, uh, fucker, you know. <laughs> yeah, we made so, his career, but uh, you know, here we are. So, what are you here talking are. about tonight, boys? Oh, he's asking if he thought the uh, Larry Hama hates our guts. You know. Yes. Without yeah. a doubt, I believe that yeah. wholeheartedly. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I just thought maybe he he this is his way to save his job, right? He mentioned that he was didn't have a lot of money, so you know, mm -hmm. I thought maybe this is to save his job. He was just kissing up to the people who run shit. Well, how can, uh, how, how can, you know, how can you write GI Joe and hate people that love America? I know, right? That is weird. That is very weird. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, it's happened before, you know. Um, I mean, M Mark Hamill t pretended to like fans for a long time. And none of us knew what a uh, total asshole misanthrope he is until, uh, you know, till social media and, and uh, 2016 happened and suddenly the mask came off and we're like, 
you know, I don't really like that dude, you know? <laughs> did, it, did the mask come off really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, the mask is off, man. He he went completely masked. Didn't off. he get like a, he he tried to get his wife something to get an abortion or something? No, his, his uh, daughter's uh, daughter. girlfriend. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was just his uh, son. His sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, no, it was his son's girlfriend got pregnant, and they tried to convince her to get an abortion. What oh, the that's fuck? Right. Yeah, yeah. He said, "I won't support this kid, so you might as well get an abortion." What a piece of shit. Why oh, would yeah. you put that on Twitter? Other than clout. That clout. That's that's what it was. He he really thought that that was like going to get him some uh some some love from somebody. Well, I'm uh, sure there's a lot of people that they get a kick out of that. Kind of <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I mean, let's face it, the world's fucked up. The kind of people who are totally okay with uh, murdering a baby because it's inconvenient are not really the kind of people you want want to associate with to me i mean i could be wrong well they have no problem they'd have no problem killing us at any point in time then would they no no absolutely not absolutely not you know you can sort of see that in the eyes of some people when you yeah. just the way they talk you just go dude you're just a step away from going well it's kind of gonna happen you know well, it's, it's like all those people that were like uh totally on board with margaret sanger all those years and just like margaret sanger this margaret sanger that put their name on the door and everything and then you like point out that uh margaret sanger was a eugenicist yeah right? which is a step and beyond she, racism it, it's a step beyond racism it just says that their people are mongrels and need to be removed from the gene pool <laughs> well that was the thing about Mar margaret sanger is that she was notoriously hated black people and yeah most of the clinics were put up in predominantly black areas and you know lower income you areas to, yep to to wipe the to wipe the uh the the lesser thans off the face of the planet yep yep yeah here i am there you are there you are <laughs> All righty, uh, welcome to the stage, Mr. Whiskey. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, hey, holy whiskey. crap, it's a full house! Literally, yeah, it's yeah, a full yeah. house. There you go, there you go. Uh, oh, oh let's see. Smart, uh, woke breaker says, uh, she was smart, she worked with black pastors and leaders. Yeah, well, um, I, I mean, sure. Yeah, it's like uh, I think Malcolm X said that you know that uh, Democratic Party was the biggest uh, like enemy of the black man, and then suddenly he was like, I don't oh, know, I murder. Bet. you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I think that Malcolm X, the thing that stands out with Malcolm X among mm -hmm. all the other fucking yeah. people is that no. he was accused of truther. Yeah, he was. Yeah. So yeah, he was. was on a road to fucking figure it out, and um. Unlike other people, okay, a lot of people, most people I stand corrected. It was white liberals. Yeah, white liberals. Yeah, women. Most, white, most white people, liberal women. Most uh, yeah. people will actually for the for, they'll do kind of anything for thirty pieces of silver. They will yeah. do, you know, if it takes. Oh, I didn't kill your kid. You chose to do it. Right? <laughs> that, that kind of a bullshit, right? You we just, just gave you the option. We just gave you the option. Yeah. It's, just, it's all about options. It's all about choices, right? Uh, yeah. Fucking it's just, creepy. Well, I mean, uh, it's it's that moral relativism, you know? There's some choices that really shouldn't be given, you know? It shouldn't, shouldn't be available, you know? <laughs> because fully, some choices are wrong, you know? Go I ahead. fully agree. I think, I think abortion is uh, completely... It's just... To me, it's evil. Yeah. Well, well I... I I, I, I'll give you one caveat. I guess I believe it's evil, but you know, the last thing I would want my daughter to have is for her to get raped and then have to carry around some other kids, uh, other guy's kid. So, well, I'm sure you wouldn't want it, but you know, it's not then not. But you have to admit to yourself what you're doing. Hmm. You know? No, no, I, I I understand that, but all right. What am I admitting to that I don't want my daughter to have a rapist baby in her? No, and right. by by that logic, then you're saying it's okay to kill that child. Yeah. Yes, I am. Say, okay, well, then <laughs> that, that's your point of view. But I mean, uh, a lot of people uh, are children of rape, and they're yeah. equally well, as good as anybody else. You know. Well, no, before I'm we, just before saying. We, 
before we go down that rabbit hole, before we go down that rabbit hole and go go to all sorts of dark places, uh, you know, <laughs> let's uh, let's move it back towards pop culture a little bit, you know. Yes, sir. No problem. No problem. I mean, we that I mean, uh, I I, I kind of brought it up. It's my fault. It's my fault for good going. Uh, good going. I, I opened it. I opened. My God. Door. I opened up the door to it. It's on me. It's on me. Uh, well, you fucked up the show before I got here. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Will you come to the show? Makes it weird. So so oh, no, 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 no. Larry Hamlin hates me. us. That's all we need to know. I got a, go. Yeah, I got a question actually for some of the panelists here. If that's okay, T Bunny. Uh, I hope I so. Go ahead. I totally guess it. Okay, yeah. so like, because I already know Shadowpunk and and you, mm-hmm. uh, T Bunny, but like, I don't know William F. or, or and Jonathan. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys do? Like, what is your thing? Mm-hmm. As far as well, like, like, are you in, indie comics? Do you make art? Are you uh, well, do you play I'll, video I'll, games? Like, what kind of stuff? Do you do? I'll tell you what. I, I am a father. I'm a grandfather. I play video games. I read comics, and I work in plastics. I have no interest in making a comic. I like buying comics. I like buying pop culture stuff. So, I'm I'm a product of the environment. So I'm I'm just most of the times I spend my my time like lurking in other people's you know, um, right. chats or not chats, but streams. Cause I I'm working. So I just kind of, it's, it's, it's like white noise to me. So you said that you so, work in pl- plastics, right? So, uh, plastic injection mm-hmm. molding, um, thermoforming, thermoforming. sheet mold. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like, you know, there's a mold that comes up to the plastic, the vacuum turns on it, sucks it around a mold. I'm familiar with it. And, That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, so yeah, got, we, we got a company near us that does that. Um, yeah. So that makes you a consumer. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, when it comes down to it, yeah. There you go. A horrible you go. You're, you're part of that. Part, you're part of that ecosystem. That part of the ecosystem. Uh, Will, and, uh, uh, Will does promotion and things like that. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. What about, I, uh, I do, I do this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Streaming. I, I currently have uh, two shows. Uh, one is a, a shill stream that Bunny's been on a couple of times and oh, Shadowpunk's been on uh, yeah. called Creators Outlet. It's also available as an audio, both available as an audio podcast or video. Um, and I have a show called OK Boomer, where my friend mm-hmm. and I uh, pick out books to read, like old books to read from golden up through copper age. And uh, then we just go through them and talk about them and stuff we're in the we're about to have the fourth and final part of uh daredevil born again this week we figured oh man some people yeah. might want to know the actual story before disney fucks it in the ass <laughs> oh, wait, are they doing that are they doing a uh, daredevil born again yeah yeah uh there's yeah. three parts out already there's there's like eight issues altogether. okay mm-hmm. nice so part yeah. four is this friday Huh? Yeah, Disney. Uh, Disney's got a series. Uh, at least, at least it was being planned. I, they may have scraped it by now. And so it is what it is. A <laughs> uh, couple, you... couple over here. A couple ask uh, comments on the subject over here. Uh, beautiful grandniece from that bad situation ended up being creating a beautiful life. There you go. Uh, it's another way of looking at it. Let me see. Uh, got here. Frost says, "Holy shit! I'm just lurking quietly, listening to the conversation. Also, rape baby. I love this show, God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Has, we went has, there. Uh, has no, Frost ever come on? Works. Okay. Frost yeah. has been on. Yeah, he, he comes on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. He comes on. He comes on. Um, you know what it is? I can't remember his face because it's uh, he's a very icon. memorable face. He, Jared's got a very memorable face. No, he's got, he only just has his icon. Is that right? No, no, he 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 cut Pierce live on camera. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah I think I you are a little bit, a little I bit. Fuck, totally, totally <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so what you guys, you you guys think uh, there's a couple good, there's a Disney. I mean, uh, sorry, Marvel put out some uh, decent comics here lately. The um, Ultimate uh, line. And I've, I've been told that the Ultimate Spider-Man has actually returned to form, and a lot of people really like it. Do you think? Uh, do you think uh, Marvel's starting to maybe uh, get the memo and turning around a little bit, or do you think it's just an aberration? 
uh, if I don't mind jumping in here, I think the whole industry is the pendulum is swinging back, mm -hmm. but the problem is they've burnt a lot of bridges along the way and a lot mm -hmm. of return customers, uh, just might not return. Like, uh, they, you know, they just, they shit, yeah. shit the bed way too many times for people to be like, let's just get all snuggly in that, you know, bed full of crap. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Well, I think they burned the bridges and then, uh, you know, and then burned the ashes and then salted the earth. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah, yeah. There's a degree beyond burning bridges. I think they've done that. So, uh, <laughs> well, I was actually going to go and get the Spider-Man, the, the new Spider-Man movie, not movie, I'm sorry, uh, comic where, you know, they said that they actually turned it around and it was a good comic, but my local comic book stores, neither one of them have it in stock. So I'm just waiting for another printing, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is Spider-Man. Like go ahead. The first print's up to like around $80 on, on Feebay. So. Ah. Oh, wow. Wow. So it, uh, you have a comic book shop that doesn't have the latest Spider-Man comic in stock. I have two. Two that don't have it. Wow. I, I remember the day when uh, if Spider-Man like took a dump in a box, it would be on the, com the shelf of your local comic book shop. That shows how far down we've gotten. <laughs> yeah. I was honestly surprised. And, and I, I, I've heard, you know, t I, not Tug, um, Yellow Flash was talking about it. And a couple uh -huh. other people knew they were talking about the the new number one Spider-Man that came out. And I'm like, well, let me go get it. And that, it's, I think that's like six weeks out. And I've been still trying to get it. And it's, I'm not going to pay 80 bucks for a 22-page no. floppy. Right. Let alone a reissue. Right, 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 right. Well, uh, you know, there's other, there's other like, uh, I guess there's other signs that uh, we may get. In, there, there's a, a signs, of course, that they're doubling down, but occasionally you'll get a glimpse of somebody that's like, you know what, maybe maybe this is the right path to take. Uh, well, one of the concerns with the whole thing about them taking the right path, though, is like uh, people's wallets right now. We talked to you just, William just highlighted it there. Uh, mm -hmm. Not everybody wants us to spend money in this, in this economy, right? So like... Mm -hmm these good things might come out, but corporate, like, because they're not making a lot of profit because a people, you know, previously burned bridges or they've, you know, the companies have burnt bridges, but, and shit the bed, but they, people don't have money to spend. So mm -hmm. they might cancel these decent projects and then shoot further shoot themselves in the foot because it's not turning a profit quickly enough. For them. Right. Oh. Well, I I have no problem spending money on stuff, but you know, but I also don't want to have it be like a honey pot too, where we get, you know, it's a 10, it's a 10 episode, you know, arc. And then by, right. you know, book, book five, you know, next thing you know, they, they do a bait and switch on you. And then I'm, I'm kind of a, a completist. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they always do with these TV shows and stuff. Like it's episode five. They're fucking lesbians. You yeah. know, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. You're just like, and so the thing you're talking about is probably what they're going to do, right? Well, okay, well, well, go ahead. Uh, I think what they're going to do is they're going to get to like issue like five or six. Mm -hmm. And the plot twist is going to be instead of Uncle Ben, Peter gets killed and Miles steps up as the new amazing Spider-Man. Or Aunt May, well, that's maybe. what. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. No, that's a good point, Will. That I think he, I think he has a daughter in this one, though. Uh, I don't know. That's a way yeah, they're doing it kill too. Miles, yeah. right? They're doing that in a video game, aren't they? Where Miles Morales is the new Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Peter oh, Parker yeah. walks away oh, yeah. and hands it over to Miles. Uh, by the way, I think Sweet Baby Ink was involved in that one. <laughs> yes, they they were. There you go. What um, company produced that, Sony or? Yes. Was it Sony? Was, yeah, yeah, Sony. Yep. Well, let's uh, invite Mr. Wokebreaker on. Hey, man. Greetings, Holy greetings, crap. greetings. Is there anybody uh, left in the chat? How's it nope. going? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Jared's <laughs> getting lonely over there. Goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you with us, Woke? Uh, I think so. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah I, can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. How goes it? It goes. It goes, man. Um, 
Now, uh, I've heard from uh, some people, uh, the X Men '97, that they're already seeing warning signs that it's going to go like, like yes, turn down Wokeville. Oh my God! Yes, yes, yeah. Well, did the, they have the big? Sorry, I saw that oh. one clip with um, uh, of, of the thing on Twitter with uh, Cyclops fighting the villain. I can't remember who the villain is, off the top of my mm-hmm. head, and. I know that looked pretty progressive to me, like the whole conversation they had looking at the clips of it. So, I mean, God, oh, God, yeah, God. Uh, the exterminator. He was fighting the exterminator, and he was this whole diatribe about, you know, uh, uh, basically uh, CRT. It sounded like straight out of a CRT handbook. So, yeah, it's like I'm already kid. not going to buy the or, you know, put any time at all into the series just because of that moment. I, I, yeah. I, I, watched, I watched both episodes just out of curiosity. The first uh-huh. episode is annoying with Sunspot. Yeah. And like the be- I don't know. It's like the dialogue is very forced. Mm-hmm. It's not natural. And then right. there's just these it's like obviously it's the X-Men, so they're already naturally organically diverse. So you don't have to like shove diversity inside the X-Men. The X-Men are already that by nature. So you would yeah. think. Do so, think. <laughs> so they just it they were just sneaky. The first episode was a little bit more like the second ep- I think the second episode was probably better ish, mm-hmm. but there were still yeah. hints like you can't trust anything when you're watching it. You want to think they're just you know the dialogue, you know, they're 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 looking at the script, okay? Yeah. They say whatever, and you want you want to hope that they're just not trying to shove something down your throat. But it feels that way. It just right. feels that way. Magneto went on his little spit. I'm, I don't know. It, it's just it's just not. It's, there was some the storm part. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm ranting. The storm, <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. The storm part. I don't know if you guys watched it or not. There's a part where storm where there's a like a you know Cyclops is the leader. He does the tactical thing where storm comes it comes in last to mm-hmm. take out the Sentinels or whatever. And it's like, so the Sentinel goes, Omega level, uh, Omega level, you, you know, mutant um, yeah. detected, blah, blah, blah. And it goes on this expositional nonsense. We know it's Storm. Storm is already awesome. Why do you have to have to make this one part? She, she's mm-hmm. floating. She's coming down. They're talking about how awesome she is. Like, we get it. She's black yeah. and she's awesome and she's female and she's powerful. It's Storm. We already know. All, like, why are you I, have to tell us that she's? Oh, I, I have the answer. Uh, oh my God, it's so annoying. I, Go the answer is that that you're Ugh. not the you're not the fan base. They're marketing mm-hmm. to. Right. 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 Oh yeah. Well, I, I, I think that's kind of that's kind of separate from it too, but. I think these people don't know how to have a conversation in real life. They don't know how to talk to people other than like spewing at them on Twitter. So their their entire life is their entire life, their scripts, they're based off of, you know, trying to explain their narrative to everybody on Twitter. And it, it shows in in the scripts. That's 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 one of the best explanations. Yes. They're yes. They want to explain everything to everyone. Good point. You don't ex- that ex- the exposition is awful. You didn't need exposition. Just come, come in, do your lightning stuff, be cool, get it done, cut their heads off, and go. You don't need, I don't need to know all that extra stuff. We already know that. You know. So what, what, if you need a narrative to explain who you are to people, then maybe you're not that thing. Um. Right. Yeah. It was, Why do we look <laughs> over Rand? Can I? If uh, I if, <laughs> if I might interject here. Uh, for 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 them, the, the the whole idea I think is that they're doing uh, two things. One is obviously obviously they're pushing the agenda, right? And we're not the target audience, you know, us older fans, you know, non ideologues or whatever. But they're also trying to market it uh, to new fans, uh, you know. So that's that's what they're doing. So they want to bring in people that have never seen the stuff to bring them up to speed. Um, no what Stanley fans. used to yeah, new fans, but fans. Stanley used to do something fim- similar as well. So, I mean, it's not unheard of. Like, you know, every time yeah. they, they'd write a new comic, they'd, like, you know, bring the reader up to speed. But we're on my piece of contention with them is the agenda pushing because nobody wants to hear that, you know. No. Uh, 
And we also don't want Rogue to have a flat uh, Brie Larson butt. Oh, so, well, either. It's not, either. not so much that. I, that. I was out. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know how old everybody is here, but you know, back in the late seventies, early eighties, man, you could like pick up. It didn't matter what what you know number you know comic it was. You could just jump into it, and you didn't have. You wanted to find out what happened, but it, it let you jump in at any point in time. Nowadays, it's like you're you're jumping into the middle of a conversation. You have no idea what's going on, and it, so, it just it just mm -hmm. kind of puts you out as soon as you get in. Mm -hmm. So. It, if you look, if you look at the at the the um uh, whatever it's called the x the, the the end, you know when the show is over and the credits are rolling and everything and they're showing like everyone's powers, you know. Right. Bishop, are we talking about? Are we talking about X Men ninety seven? Yeah, X Men ninety seven. Okay. So like, All right. at the end, you know, they, they they rotate the characters: Cyclops, Concussion Beam, blah blah blah. Next character, next character. The last character was Morph. I mean, Morph, they think they were so sneaky. Mm -hmm. They, on on Morph, on all the other characters, they did not say, they didn't say, like, um, Cyclops, his blasts do this, or Rogue, her power. They didn't even say their, they, they just, the, the name of the character and they just what their power set was. But when they got to Morph, they had to put the their, like the they, them thing, in, right uh -huh. in, in his thing, I was like, wow. "You guys are so sneaky." Well, that's so, yeah, that's modern, yeah, modern day Marvel. Like, there's yeah. just like Transformers with the like with the uh, what did the little girl said? She she made Optimus Prime apologize to the new Transformers because he didn't get their pronouns right. It's like, what, what the hell? What does that have to do with Transformers? These are freaking robots. Yes, I mean one's you know characteristics of the male and the other one's a female, but they don't have the parts. It was, it, was they, bad. It, it was smart because it was because you know a lot of people don't pay attention to what their kids watch, and it's, this was more of like a cute, um, like a new introduction of them again, and it's like new trans like transformers that were just born, quote unquote, or whatever. So they're trying to figure out who they are, and then Optimus goes and 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 says. He and then that robot looks down, kind of like sad. So then the little girl tells Optimus that 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 Transformer doesn't know what it wants to be yet, and he had to apologize. Did she literally talk about pronouns? This is all very terrifying because it's like yeah. you know, they are indoctrinating kids and stuff. But here, I'll put a scenario for you. When like imagine all these kids growing up. And you're a really very, very, very old man. You're retired. You're in a home somewhere. And then you're in a wheelchair. Uh, and they're asking you what your pronouns are while they're trying to, like, uh, slide the, uh, you know, voluntary, uh, you know, made death certificate in your hand. And then, you know, mm -hmm. trying to figure out what kind of pronouns to put on the thing. Like, it's a, it's a terrifying future if some of these kids grow up and join society. Well, uh, well I mean... You know, what let me let me show you let me just give you a taste of what they took from us uh here you go that is a beautiful peach yeah there you go there you go there you go i just had to slide it in there uh you were saying oh, uh, I uh, uh, or which one okay uh, you were saying earlier, why did we like Wolverine, uh, William F? Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, why did we like Wolverine? You know, when we were watching like the, the X-Men series in the 90s, I mean, he was just kind of like gruff and didn't say much. He just reacted. He jumped up on top of like Sentinels and chopped their heads off. And he was just a badass. And now he's a gay guy that lives on a guy on an island. They turned Wolverine so, uh, Goodness. Oh yeah, because more morph will transform into a female persona, which automatically makes him female. That's not how well, any of this works. Well, did he like did yeah, he sleep that, with Logan? Like, what is that no. thing? Mm. No, in the, nah, the X Men I, series, um, all the X Men they live on an island, and Wolverine and uh, Cyclops, not Cy yeah, Cyclops and. Uh, 
Jean. Jean Grey. They're all in a polyamorous relationship. And that's in the show. There you go. No, it's a, it's it's, uh, in, it's the in the comic. Book. comic. It's in the comic book. Okay. It's in the comic. Yeah. I haven't so I haven't read a Marvel comic in well yeah. over ten years. Yeah, people get um, angry at me because when they say that to when they use that term, it goes, "Oh, I'm polyamorous." I go, "Oh, so you're a whore? How long have you been a whore?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, Star Wars when uh when uh, uh Solo came out, and I had to figure out what the hell a pansexual was to figure out what uh yeah, it's just it's all crap, man. It. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm sorry. It's all it's it's dead. It's all dead. Our 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 youth, our childhood. I mean, they take the stuff that we loved when we were kids, and they're literally destroying it. I don't know if it's to mock us, or if it's just to destroy it so that nobody likes it anymore. It's, uh, I, it's I think I think it's entirely to knock out the pillars of Western culture, uh, yep. and then completely tear it down. And you can see that because they. In, in their hiring practice and stuff when they these HR departments they just decimate companies from the inside out and oh, replace yeah, HR all these people killing can't companies right now yeah and eventually it just you know they're the whole goal is always they've always been adamant about it tear down the West and build a uh, utopian society culture is what keeps people going right like when everybody's tired at their jobs and done with their boss, they want to shut their brains off. Culture is the only thing at all that keeps people going. So you need good, uh, you know, shows. You need shows that don't have progressive ideals in them. And X-Men isn't obviously doing that. Well, uh, I got a couple because, comments yeah. over here. Right, right quick. Uh, so Frost Comics says, uh, you know, um, I'm going to post random quotes. Remember from X-Men Animated, this one's for you, Morph. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think he meant sex, though. I, I don't think it would meant in a sexual way. Uh, do you guys not think it's perhaps time we move on and focus on new things? We all know old IPs, yeah. Yeah, we were just uh, we meandered a little bit, but yeah, we're, we're it's part of the bigger discussion. Uh, Phil Cyclops, uh -huh. I made him a convertible. <laughs> 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 okay, what be homies? What up, this can be. Um, yeah, okay. uh, so, oh, I don't understand. Sorry, Dave's I'm as far beyond him as they are beyond you. Yeah. Uh, which one? Uh, I go back a bit to Dave's recent comment there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what, is, what is the what's yeah, the well, point of of that? Yeah, I don't think that's true. Well, he's just. Uh, well, um, well, I think I, I think what he's talking saying. about is a. Uh, uh, well, it's what, it's what William was complaining about earlier. You know, everybody seems to want to uh, talk a lot about, you know, the, the, the latest desecration, you know, and uh, I don't see enough people talking about uh, what's next, which is what this show's about. You know, I, I think I think it is it's more I mean, we can talk about and kind of like sift through the ashes and kind of like uh, give a, um, uh, you know, this is how it fell. You know, this is this is a. Uh, this is what this is what was destroyed but i do think that we do need to have a better fo uh, a tight focus on uh, what's coming up you know things like shadow punk you know uh, with his comic and incredible stuff that we're seeing like independent nice. comics and i'm not Thank talking you. About independent all time millionaires that bought their way into the space i'm talking about independent people less than 10k a jobs and they're doing the best they can um I, you know I think some people are just. I think some people might just be, um, l not late, but just like if, like if, I hate Star Wars with a passion, but I love Star mm -hmm. Trek. Obviously, I don't like new Star Trek because it's garbage. So like, yeah. Star Wars guy, Star Trek guy, Babylon mm -hmm. Five guy, Marvel, DC, whatever. Like, when yeah. everyone, even like Dungeons and Dragons, out. So like, once those people start realizing that something's off then they'll like they'll come they'll come in to kind of like what we're talking about now so i i don't yeah. think i don't think what he said was like oh do you that's what he say do you guys think it's perhaps about time we move on and focus on new things we all, it's like yes we 
are, but everybody isn't. I don't think everybody is there. Like until someone until someone's thing gets destroyed, they don't really care. You're a nerd. I'm a nerd. We're nerds in different ways. But now right. your stuff is messed up. Now you realize, and then it kind of forms like a community or whatever. So I, I think there's just more people out right. there that are starting to realize that, oh crap, there's they're doing stuff to everything. You know what I mean? I'm going to agree with this uh, statement. We should talk about how Perfect Ten has taken the throne of the perfect peach away from the animated rogue now that she's Brim Bree Larson. <laughs> <laughs> I am all for making that a uh, making that a verb. I am all for making that a verb. Um, you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, so you know, we're talking about um, you know talking about how uh, it's obvious that uh, while they can occasionally you see some spark of life, occasionally you know they'll throw you a bone. You know, um, you know it's like uh, when uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife came out and uh, and it was like a breath of fresh air it was fan service it was exactly what we expected the ghostbuster sequel to be and then i hear the newest one uh has a subplot that's really icky and so it's like uh really you know they gave us yeah yeah um i, I have yet to see it myself but uh i've had more than one person tell me about a subplot that's a uh, pretty uh pretty like questionable uh story about the teenage girl so i don't know i don't know um so I, I might mean, be the like, wrong person to have. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I might be the wrong person to have, here, but the the patent mm -hmm. guy that's in it. Um, yeah. You know, he's got some pretty questionable stuff in his life to where you know, like you know, his oh, wife Patton died. Oh, very stuff. questionable. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Once I right, saw him, right, right, right. go ahead. I hate that little troll. <laughs> exactly. I he's the reason why I like Trinity the uh Blade Trinity. He's the best reason to watch that movie. Pat Oswald. Pat Does Oswald, he get killed yeah. in it? He gets murdered. He gets the crap murdered out of him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that now. <laughs> you are, you really are. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Shows up at Bad things happen. You'd be surprised how many shows that um, you like that he's in, and you don't even realize it. Yeah, he's he's uh, one of those people they slip into everything for nerd cred. For some reason, he thinks you know he's got nerd cred. I don't I have no idea. Uh, okay, gotta go back to lurking. Remember, I'm hosting debate tonight, eight thirty CST. I'm everybody's friend, the moderator, left to the panel. All held the perfect peach. Yep. Yeah, uh, Jared is having a conversation. He's uh, B.A. Turner, and I forget the other guy's name, but uh, it's going to be uh, basically uh, CG versus Ripaverse uh, debate. But, uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. So Jared's Jared's a brave man. He's a really brave man. Uh, I think I think he called it Iron Age instead of Ripaverse to kind of like cut down on the amount of a. Uh, uh, of scary uh, people. I'll He's go on the record saying I, I don't like the term Iron Age. Not because it, not for the def, just because mm -hmm. it sounds weird. It doesn't sound good. I despise all cliques. Well, I, agreed. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, you know, uh, basically calling something uh, an era while the era is still happening does seem a little problematic, uh, admittedly. Um, but I, I do agree that uh, we're we are entering into a uh, a new paradigm, and uh, I don't know if it's going to wind up being called Iron Age by posterity. Um, but you know, it's the title some people have kind of leaned into. So uh, let, it, me, it, let me ask you: wait, Your uncle EBS already stole it. <laughs> so, do you guys think uh, what are the odds? my uncle? No. <laughs> What are the uh, odds that the, the uh, EVS Eric July thing is a like a stunt? Is it low? I think it's just a. Grip. At this point, I. I uh, <sighs> at this point, I think we're all kind of just tired of it. That even if it is a stunt, you know, by the time they say "ta da," there's not going to be anybody watching. You know. That's annoying. I I stopped watching it and is. you wonder why you know I'm, I'm looking elsewhere and. 
I, like I said, I didn't even know that you had it even had a show. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I advertise it, but word hasn't really gotten out pretty far yet. So, uh, yeah, you know, well, you know it, it kind of gets, um, it, it, everything always gets kind of like lost in the shuffle. You know what I mean? You can subscribe to like, not subscribe, but you know, put your notifications on to everybody. And let's see, so you know, you got like a hundred notifications and you, right. you, you right. tend to get bogged down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, uh, the most important thing is that the fan is still here and, uh, the fan still wants something to, uh, take them out of their day and get their head out of the world for a little while. And, uh, and you know, they're, de they're basically desecrating the, the pool. Uh, but yeah, so we'll just dig new wells, you know? Um, because there's always going to be a need for entertainment. There's always going to be a need for distraction, and so what's next is basically providing that. You know, okay. can, uh, I, can I give you one and, positivity? And, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry if I interrupt you too much. Just tell me to shut the hell up. I, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Um, I don't know how many uh, out of us here that have uh, backed uh, black and white. But I just got mine mm -hmm. the other day, so that's one positive. Yes, and they, I got mine. I got they're mine. They're really coming. good. What is that? Awesome. Uh, R T, R -T, R -T Bears, Bears uh, comic. It's... No, you oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you something about R T Bear. I don't know how many okay. times I've followed that guy, and he never mm -hmm. follows me back. What is the deal? Some people just don't do that. Well, Art, uh, Art's a, uh, he's a technophobe. Uh, he and Kelsey Shannon are like uh, infamous for uh, staying away from technology for vast swaths of time. And so I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't like take that as a, a you know, as some kind of slight, you know, he, he probably, I, I can re I can he probably doesn't that. even know he's got mentions. I mean, <laughs> I can respect it. I, all I'm saying is, it's just weird. I'm just like, dude, well, what I'm, the fuck? I'm in, the, I'm in the same boat as you, man. I don't like when that happens to me, especially when it's a small time creator and you, you know, they can see it. Well, you know what it is. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't take it like in the worst way or nothing. But it's, it almost <laughs> like it doesn't make sense, right? It just doesn't make sense. Like, what's the logic here? You know, is it so fucking hard to click a button, you know, and maybe the technophobe no. is what there's something going on, which I respect. OK, I'm totally for that. But, you know, not when it comes to my. Well, like, uh, okay. <laughs> well I mean, I, 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 I get that, but uh, you also don't have as many mentions as he does per day. You know, uh, the guy, the guy has uh, way, way more followers than we do. <clears throat> You know so, what? You know what's going to change? I don't, uh, I don't attribute. Go ahead. When I get in that far to hate me for at least a month, that'll totally change. Because then no, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be famous in CG. I'll have Matt Barr go at me like, <laughs> like a demon. You don't want Matt Barr. <laughs> you don't want Matt Barr to hate you. you oh, my gosh. Absolutely. No, you definitely want Matt Barr to hate you for at least a, oh, yeah. a moment. For a moment. <laughs> You know, you know why? Because Matt Barr is. I don't super, want Matt to hate me. Matt Barr is super articulate and he's me. so fun to listen to. Okay, so, so, so <laughs> if you can get him to hate you for over the over the taste of coffee, then you know what? Mm. It's worth it. And then later on, you're like, dude, I like that coffee too. Oh my god! Right? <laughs> Whatever the thing you can concoct, you know. So good press is bad press, is what you're trying to say. With Matt Barr is because he because of the way he's good at he's fun to listen to, listen to, you know. Oh, who do we lose? Oh, he lost Joker. a Joker fan. Yeah, he he yeah. Uh, evidently his uh, camera and his mic went out. So, oh. um, um, but well, when it when it comes to Matt, I mean Matt, Matt I'm sorry, Matt, Matt just kind of keeps it, it real. I mean, how long have we all been in CG? I I know I've been here for six years. I just kind of like lurk and mm -hmm. listen to yeah. Ethan and some of the other shows, but yeah. I mean, but how long? Are, 
That's the fun part about Matt Barr, that he keeps it real. And the way he talks is kind of off the cuff. And um, right. he's kind of neurotic a little bit. We're all kind of neurotic, okay? But he has a, he's articulate. So that's a cool. fun thing. Look how much the space has changed in the past, what, let's say two years. Oh, yeah. You know, it, I, I'd say, I, I'd I, just say one year. Well, yeah, we could do that too. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, by the way, a freaking awesome show for on starts on Matt, Matt Barr's channel uh, around six o'clock. So, you know, if you want to oh, go over kings. there, yeah. check it out. Yeah. The, it, used be, it used to be the pre kings, but now it's a freaking awesome show. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious since I'm, I'm relatively awesome. new. new yeah, to CG. after the has, falling out, has CG ever been completely unified? Like, has there ever been no. like, has it always been no. just a no one drama after another? It's a, yes. Yeah, it's always been a shit show. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I think I think the, there's been times the, it's been the, less of a shit show. You know, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just saying the the worst time was like, um, if you go back on, uh, let's say, go back on Ethan's channel, and it's called the Fall of Rome, where War Campaign was disavowed from CG. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want you want to talk about go yeah. going back and like re kicking up hornet's nest? That'll that'll get right. you all over the place, man. Right. Recently, I, I was having a conversation with someone. I'm not going to name them, uh, but name them, name them now. We talked about we talked about uh, war camp like a war campaign, and you know you know drama and stuff like that, and yell. And then like he was like yelling at war campaign, um, and like in the thing, and it just. It just this I you know this idea that like uh you know one certain people are persona non grata that you can go on, off on them and it's perfectly fine but you can't go off on somebody else it's just all really confusing to me as somebody who's uh, totally makes sense thing. it totally makes sense like yeah. like if if, they, if somebody went off on me and I'm like a whatever guy in CG, you know, and somebody goes off on uh, a female, even that has a big channel, you know, just and then the way they do it, like makes her is like vindictive or bad or something. You know, you can do that shit to us, and nobody gives well, a shit, right? Unless there's unless there's because I'm not familiar with war camp war campaign. I'm just like you yeah. know the. There's definitely a hierarchy. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I mean, yeah, there definitely is. I mean, didn't that happen to Rini and the um, PTP crew and you know, yeah, and stuff going on. yeah, like uh, I don't know the I don't know the particulars, so don't shoot me. Um, but it seemed like, yep. like you know, somebody like because I'm I don't know what happened to them. I, I couldn't tell you at all. Uh, is that the dungeon new stuff? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, well, I just they lost know that, I, I no. just know that people were going after Rini as well, but nothing like. And again, I don't know how people went after that, like um, female or how war campaign comported themselves. So it just like to me, it's all very confusing. So it might take way too long to explain. What, no, no. With Rini, what oh, yeah. happened is Rini came in and she worked in Marvel and. uh for some reason, you know, her and John Malin, not that they had disagreements, but John Malin's kind of like, you know, it, um, you know, he felt the need to, uh, I don't know, um, I'm losing the word, but, but put her in her place and kind of like, you know, you're, you're a newbie, you know, really? you don't get to like, yeah, not that he was mean about it, but I guess she took it a certain way. You know, like it's almost like paying your dues. Like, you know, if you're gonna you're gonna like rise up, you're gonna have to pay your dues all the way up the, the rungs. And John was there to like push her down and say, Nope, you're getting here too quick. You gotta you gotta go through X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And yeah. I'm sure that happened. I'm sure you're accurate the way you're describing it. Personally, I would say that's bullshit. Because you know what? That's more about the mm -hmm. person doing it to you than it is about some process, right? The ego of the person wanting to make sure. Okay, that you I, you. Um, let, let me go ahead and get this comment in a private chat. Okay, have a good stream, folks. Need food in my tummy, uh, tum tum. 
Uh, Brie Larson loves you all. Buy Disney stock and remember to all females are strong and powerful. All right. Thank you, Woke Breaker. <laughs> nice. Have fun. So I, think, is, I, I think. So how did the war campaign stuff differ? Like, what was the fallout there, if it's okay to ask? Um, what? The, the war campaign stuff is, I, they, I think, that, uh, I mean, we're going back, but they had, like, purity testing and, like, um, everybody – you know, it's kind of like they, they would call Ethan Caesar and they were his generals and his minions. And what they would do is they would like weed out the, the, the poser imposters, the fakes. And, you know, and it ended up, it ended up back backlashing when Anna's sister died. Yeah. And, well, live by the sword, die by the sword. He let it go on right. for way too long. And, uh, and then, the uh dog that they he fed meat to uh got a taste for him and uh right and then he uh, we, we lost some good creators yeah yeah um, i mean so that it's kind of like do. what's going on now it seems like uh, this is something that ethan does every once in a while um you know right. he seems to get a lot of people toxic this into his circle you know yeah, this time's yeah, this time I don't know. I think the like with the mint salad and Riley and I don't know, even Vito and mm -hmm. Dick. I mean, I, I I think the I I think it's a little bit worse than war campaign. I mean, I think it's actually a little yeah. bit more degenerate, but yeah, maybe that's just me. Well, uh before I get uh in too much trouble, um I usually try to run about an hour, uh, because everybody has uh shows that start up and like right around now and so uh also my uh housemate comes home and uh starts uh uh you know he, he likes to stream videos and stuff like that so i i try not to be on when uh he uh he comes home uh anyway got a couple more questions here uh file 13 here's a question for you nerds it's parallel economy still possible in that circle like they've spoken of for years uh i think a parallel economy is uh definitely still possible i don't know that the people that uh, are calling for a parallel economy are going to be part of it because they seem to have uh you know started uh building an insular circle they don't you know insular circle jerk that doesn't include anybody outside of them so um anybody else got a, a uh yeah opinion i don't on think that? i don't think parallel economy or economies exist uh, i think that mm -hmm. the the best way to do business is a handshake and it always has been. If you build yourself on a foundation of um, uh, mm -hmm. communist ideals where you have a collectivist viewpoint, you're like, we're separate from you. Uh, that's not going to work um, just because the other people that you're separate from are also the same kind of people. The people that you want to do business with is people that you can you know and shake their hand and make a, a strong bond with because they're repeat customers. I don't think a parallel economy exists because it's the same ball of wax. It's just a different you know form of it. Well, I agree with you, and uh, I trading, think trading customers back and forth. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, I agree with what you were just going to say. I think every time we back a person's individual book, we're shaking their hands because we're in a yeah. small sector. So. Yeah. You know. So yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you got a compliment from File Thirteen. Uh, I like that guy. He's not foolish yet. So there you go. <laughs> that, I don't know who he's talking one. to, uh, but thanks. <laughs> that you suck, Bunny. Have a good one. That's uh, that's that's the, that's his version of a compliment. Just just so you know. There you go, buddy. Uh, all right. Anyway. <laughs> all right. What does everyone have to be monolithic? You do what you do. You take a you. Take take off you take off you don't you don't nobody should be beholden anyone i absolutely uh definitely agree with that and uh dang i wish i didn't have to eat <laughs> yeah he would have like munched into that one um okay well uh so basically what this show's about is what's next uh what's what's coming what's on the horizon keeping our eyes open and uh i guess today we kind of like uh, a lot of things we talked about today are uh it's kind of like just watching it, watching the world burn and then trying to uh, use the light from the world burning to uh, build something new. <clears throat> and uh, so, <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's, uh, that's, that's been uh, go ahead. Last, last thought. Go ahead. Uh, all I'm going to say is, is, you know, anybody that watches the show or is listening right now, please back, you know, Jaeger bomb. Okay. By Donald delay. He, he, yep. he is in. Yep. 
absolute need of funding. Okay. All right. Uh, is he going to fund my comic? I, no, I think he's do, just doing it on Indiegogo. Well, that's why he's in need of funds. Anyway. <laughs> just so, <laughs> all right. Joking, joking. All right. So, uh, yeah, why, why be a small fish on a big pond when you can be a big fish in a, a pretty medium-sized pond? So there you go. Uh, just saying. Anyway, um, so that's uh, that's pretty much uh, uh, all we've got for the day. Thank you guys for coming on thinking, and participating and uh, and uh, adding uh, adding your opinion to the uh, the Bullia base. Um, I think we made a pretty good dish. And, uh, yep, uh, like you're saying, uh, if you want to get on Matt Barr's uh, channel, uh, the uh, freaking awesome show is coming up uh, very shortly, here shortly. And uh, so that's been Cooper for Telepathic Bunny Comics. I've been here with uh, Whiskey Bayonet Ricochet, uh, also uh, with Mr. Shadow Punk. Uh, bully this guy until he does a second chance campaign. We need more of that book. We need what? that book. We need more of that book. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you, William F., for coming on, a new friend. Uh, if you uh, like you. the content you heard here today, or even if you hate my guts and just want to tell me uh, what a loser I am, you go ahead to uh, put that in the chat. And so uh, that gets me algorithm boost. So go ahead. Yeah. Uh, just, just tell me what, tell me what a loser I am. I'm good. I'm good with it. Um, but that's uh, that's been Coop for Telepathic Buddy Comics. Uh, thank you all. Uh, remember, follow the White Rabbit, like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Uh, say bye, gentlemen. Adios. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. See you. <laughs> Hey. Yep.